Greetings everyone. In this video, I am going to show you what is control net and how to use it. Control net is a neural network structure to control diffusion models by adding extra conditions. There is a paper of official implementation of adding conditional control to text to image diffusion models. You can click this link, download it and read it if you want. So what does control net do? They have released it nine apps to use control net they have released their pre-trained models as well so the first up is cani edge with the cani edge and stable diffusion 1.5 we are able to upload an image like this then this image is turned into this and based on the prompt we enter it is turned into this the second release it up is control net with mlsd line so stable diffusion 1.5 plus control net using simple mlsd straight line detection with this app we are able to upload an image like this then this image is turned into this then based on the prompt we provide we are getting results like this don't worry i will show you how to install and run these apps the one another app they have released is control net with H A D boundary. So with this app, we are able to upload a base image like this. Then we are providing our prompt like this. This image turn it into this image. Then these images are generated based on our uploaded image and the prompt. The one another app they have released is Control Net with user scribbles. So with user scribbles, we are uploading a sketchy image like this then it is turned into this and based on the prompt we provide they are turned into these images one another app they have provided is interactive interface in this interface you are driving the sketch yourself but it is up to you this is harder to do then they have released another app control net with fake scribbles with fake scribbles we are able to upload base image like this then it is turned into a scribble like this then based on this these images are generated uh, by using our provided prompt you see it is just looking awesome and another one is control net with human pose in here we are uploading a human pose human image then uh, the pose is generated like this and based on the prompt we provide it is using this generated human base and generating the images based on the prompt we have provided and there is one another app they have provided control net with semantic segmentation in this one we are uploading a base image it is generating a segmented image like this then based on the prompt it is generating these images by using this segmented image and another app they have released is control net with depth so with depth it is generating depth of the image and based on the prompt we provide it is generating these images and when one another app is control with normal map with normal map it is generating a normal map depth like this or maybe we can say normal map and based on the prompt these images are generated as you can see all right let's start to download these models and using them to use these apps we are going to use anaconda installation you can install anaconda from here just click download after downloaded let's go to the downloads folder and in, in here we see anaconda i right click run as administrator then click next click i agree if you have previous installation you can uninstall it and install the latest version okay uh, i am going to use just me as recommended then you need to select the destination folder i am going to install it inside my c folder c drive like this click next add anaconda tree to my pet environment uh, it says it is not recommended so i'm not going to do that register anaconda tree as my default python 3.9 i am also not going to register it like this because it may break my other python installations okay just click next the installation has been completed click next click next and finish now we will start with cloning this github repository into the our target folder that the folder we want to clone it you need to have a git and to use git you can use git page which i am showing in my videos just type git page to google and open this link 
download for Windows and install it if you haven't yet. So I am going to generate a folder in my C drive. Let's click hit. I am naming as experiment. Enter inside the folder and type here CMD. It will open the CMD window with this with starting the folder that you have typed. Then type git clone and paste the link like this it will clone everything into this repository control net also released their pre-trained models which are hosted on the hugging face page there are a lot of files to download so instead of downloading them one by one manually i am going to download all of them how am i going to do that copy the link then go to inside control net and inside models this is where i am downloading then i will cut them and put them inside the target folders type cmd here so right now i am in this folder then git clone and right click and hit enter by the way there is no messages when downloading hugging face files so just open your task manager and in the ethernet tab you will see the download process so you will understand when the download has been completed by following here all files have been downloaded how do i know when I check the Ethernet, now there is no such download. Let me show you how much space it is taking, how many megabytes have been downloaded. Let's click properties. As you can see, over 87 gigabytes of file have been downloaded. So it will take a lot of time if you have slow internet connection. Now we need to put these three folders into the correct folder. To do that, I am selecting all three, cut, then go to the main installation folder control net and paste it there now i will show you the path with a bigger resolution like this so you are going to paste these three folders into the main installation where it has been now time to install control net to install it we are going to use anaconda that we have installed since we didn't set a default path we need to run the anaconda prompt type anaconda into your search bar and it will bring up anaconda prompt as you can see in here then we need to move inside this folder the uh, folder where we have downloaded the github re repository of control net i am copying the path like this actually it is easier to do this way just drag and drop the folder inside your anaconda cmd window hit enter Oh, by the way uh, we need to type cd first then do again okay now we are inside uh, our installation folder inside the anaconda prompt then we are going to run this command by the way i will put the link of this github repository into the description just copy and paste it for pasting it i did right click my mouse and it pasted the text you can also right click here and from here you can edit and paste as well and it is going to generate the virtual environment with the necessary uh, configuration for us all the necessary dependencies for control net have been installed let me show you quickly what were installed if you also want to compare in your computer so all of these packages have been installed then it has generated transaction prepare transaction verify pr transaction execute transaction execute transaction install pip dependencies a lot of dependencies were installed and i don't see any warnings or error messages that is awesome now we are ready to launch the apps to do that we are going to use conda activate control and how we are going to do that first type anaconda prompt like this because we didn't set a default path so anaconda prompt started with base First, we need to move into our installation folder. So now we are in the experiment control net, which is my installation folder. Next, we will run this command. Just right click and hit enter. Okay, now we are in the control folder. Now we can start using apps. The first app that I am going to test is control with Kani Edge. So I am copying this prompt and pasting it in here for pasting also you can use right click in here and edit and paste you can see here Control v hit enter and it will start the app okay the app has been started however the running on local url the displayed url is incorrect 
The correct URL is, let me refresh this, 127.0.0.1. Let me also show you the URL like this. So this is the correct URL that it has been started. Then I will use the test images they have provided inside test images folder. So the first one is bird image like this. The prompt is just bird. When you hit the advanced options, you will see number of images that you want to generate image resolution. Unfortunately, since there is no included X forms yet, uh, it is not able to run as efficient as automatic 1111 web UI when we are using the stable diffusion. There is also Kenny low threshold, Kenny high threshold. You can play with them. There are steps, number of steps to generate the image. Guidance scale, which is equal to CFG in web UI. And there is this seed value that you can also change it. There are also edit prompt and negative prompt. Now I will hit enter. But before doing that, I will pause video because it is using a lot of GPU. Even though I have paused the video, I have got memory error. Not enough memory error as you can see the error is displayed here and also in here so what am i going to do is i will refresh drag and drop the image once again type bird but i will change the target resolution to 448 pixels like this then i will hit run and i got the output as you can see which is similar to the one they are displaying on the github page now time to try the next app which is control net with m dash lsd lines to do that i will just close this i am running anaconda prompt once again i am copy pasting my cd like this then i will start honda activate control then i will execute this command the app has been started also i have opened a discussion and issue on the official github repository so they okay i see that they have added a new low vram let's check it out okay for low vram it says that save memory equal to true so i am going to set the save memory equal to true with updating the code repository to update it let's use git pull command and see if it will work and yes it worked it updated the latest version and let's also save the save memory true inside the config file let's find the config file in here config.py open it with notepad plus plus okay there is only one command i am setting it true and i will run this first one once again which throw the low vram error for us i am starting with python gradio connective image which our graphic card were thrown an error okay the app has been started so let's try the bird once again I am going to hit run now and amazing it worked very well with a very decent speed as you can see it only took like 20 seconds for 20 steps and it uses like this kind of memory unfortunately it's still very high but it works now let's start the next up as you can see i have did conda activate control and now i am going to execute the command here okay the app has been started let's refresh the ui so you see now it displays control stable diffusion with half line maps and i am going to use the same sample that they have used let's open it from the sample images the test images i am dragging and dropping the room here and i am just typing room there are also advanced options in here that you can try just hit run by the way if you want to get different results don't forget to change the seat it did run very well it took less than 20 seconds and we got the result like this if you change seed then you will get different results you can also change these values now time to start the next up to start it i am going to use the command in here let's just copy paste it before starting any apps make sure that you are inside the correct folder and it displays here control otherwise it won't work let's refresh Put the ultimate image here and let's copy paste the prompt they have written in here let's just paste and run and we got the results with within less than 20 seconds as as you can see the result is here now i am going to test my most wanted most awaited feature control net with user scribbles okay the app has been loaded let's refresh 
and we now see control stable diffusion with scribble maps for this i am going to use a custom image that i have downloaded from deviant art which is a free line art and i will use a different prompt for this I have used Fantastic Dragon Intricate Details Masterpiece Art, Art Station and the result is just amazing. Yeah, this is my first tried prompt. I am sure that this can be improved a lot. So it is working just great. I can see it keeps the shape. This is definitely much better than image to image in Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11 Web UI. If you don't know what is stable diffusion, how to use stable diffusion, how to use automatic 11.11 web UI and other things, I have excellent video tutorials on my channel. Just go to our playlist section and in here you will see stable diffusion tutorials and in this playlist you will see all of the awesome videos that we have. You can watch them and learn more about how to use stable diffusion, what is stable diffusion, how to use automatic 11.11 web UI and other all awesome stable diffusion related guides and videos. You cannot achieve this with image to image when you use a scribble and line art like this. The rest is same that I am not going to show them in this video. You can just run them like this and try them yourself. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, join our discord channel. The discord channel link is in the description. Also, if you support me on Patreon, I would appreciate that very much. You can find our support me on Patreon link in our channel and also in the description i thank them very much i thank my patreon supporters very much uh, hopefully see you in another awesome video stay tuned